For golfers, the greatest meeting of land and sea in North America might no longer be the Monterey Peninsula. It might just be tiny Inverness, Nova Scotia. Along the Canadian shoreline of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, around the Horn from the Atlantic Ocean, this area is home to two dramatic new golf courses that offer all the challenge and scenery of Pebble Beach and Cypress Point, and then some. The slightly older of the two courses is called Cabot Links, and it was designed and built by Canadian golf architect Rod Whitman. It starts and ends on genuine sand dunes that were artificially reshaped to promote some really fun bump and run play. Players will also encounter marshland and a tidal basin called McIsaac's Pond, plus six thrilling holes along the ocean's edge that will make them taste the salt spray. A mile north and on higher bluffs is the second course, Cabot Cliffs. This 18-hole design is a phenomenal accomplishment by the American team of Bill Coor and Ben Crenshaw, and it features a collection of holes unlike any this famous duo have created before. One hole tumbles from sand dunes into a river valley. Another plays from dense pines to a green backdrop by the shimmering Gulf of St. Lawrence. And the final three holes here are as pulse pounding as any in golf. The par 3 16th hole plays over a deep ocean cove. The par 4 17th has a daunting blind tee shot to a clifftop fairway. And the par 5 18th Head south along the coast with ocean ravines gnawing into the fairway at critical points. These are young resort courses, but already world class. Cabot Links is ranked 93rd on Golf Digest's list of the world's 100 greatest golf courses. And Cabot Cliffs is ranked 19th. That tells you something.